Dad mentioned the other day that his driveway needed some work. We were headed this way anyway for a major barn demolition project, which you're gonna see coming up very soon. So I decided to throw the land plane on so that we could see how it works on this hard packed driveway. Now we'd already started before we got the cameras out, so you're not able to see the driveway in its original condition. Although if you look closely throughout the video, you'll see some areas that are still packed, hard packed. That should give you a sense of what it all looked like before we started. We left dad's mower deck on because we didn't have much time before dark, and I guess we were just too eager to play with the new toy. This is an entry level land plane. It's from Monroe Tough Line, and the design is about as simple as you will see on a land plane. This one's built plenty tough. For instance, it has a nice strong frame, and it has clevises there for the lower lift arms. It just happens to have a limited feature set. It's entry level. The next level up of land plane would have scarifiers in front that could be manually raised and lowered to maybe allow you to dig just a little bit more than this particular model. So that's one of the things that we're gonna investigate in this video. Will this one dig enough for this particular driveway? Or do we need the scarifiers or perhaps in a different type of attachment altogether? You'll see that part of the driveway looks pretty muddy and other parts of it look pretty dry and hard. The dry and hard part surprised me the most because they had received rain over the past few days really surprised that it got so dry so quickly. The muddy part is where they've been washing machinery. In fact, they just were washing the combine as I drove up. You think it's working, Dad? Yeah, it's really bringing up that gravel again. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like it's putting new rock on it, isn't it? Yeah, we took drive those semis over it and it just flattens it out and makes it work. No rock looks like, you know, no rock on it. Yeah. Well, this is, I guess, cheaper than putting new rock on then, isn't it? Uh, yeah, there's plenty of rock here. It's just mashed down in the mud and flat. Yeah. At first, it looked like it wasn't gonna dig deep enough. Yeah, but it, it's doing fine. I think extra trips over, it digs a little bit more each time. Yeah. trying to fill in that hole there a little bit. Yeah. And you can pick it up just a little bit and it really does, it. it's pretty easy to handle. walking in the mud to throw trash in the dumpster, so I'm trying to get some rock drug up next to the dumpster. I like hearing that. <laughs> In the extremely muddy areas, it would dig a little bit better. It was easier for it to go on the ground. However, it didn't flow over the back of the cutters very easily, so it, it would leave things more clumped. It didn't do as good a job of finishing. I'm impressed at how much rock that thing will drag. It piles up a big pile. You 
wouldn't make it sound much in there when you watch no, it. No, boy, he's got a lot of rock, and it come from no from you know very hard, hard packed rock. At first, we didn't think it was going to be able to dig enough. Right, right. So it's really but, hard. Man, it's it's piled up, and it's doing what we what we need done. Doing yeah. exactly what we need done. We thought we needed we should have put some new rock out on it, but I think we'll get by now. This will straighten yeah. up and and. Uh, Actually, I think the little guy help a guy save rock. Yeah, it if you, money. if save you money on your on uh, on your driveway. Yeah, that's if what I If you kept it drug up, you know, and and kept it maintained, and uh, I think it'd be a wonderful tool. It doesn't cost that much either. They're pretty pretty good cost deal. Effective. Good deal. Well, this is a lot easier than using that backhoe bucket, isn't it? The loader bucket. Well, it is. If I could sit over here and watch it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to hear the noise that way. It's easy to run too. Really? You just put her down driver, huh? Put her down and drive, and then if you want to raise if you want to dump some, I mean you can raise it up and you feel like you're at okay. quarter inch increments. I mean you feel okay. like you have good control. When it's working well, it just rolls right over both of those things and makes it look like you're spreading new rock. Okay. I can believe that. What do you think, Randall? I think it does a nice job. Yeah. Now, what you, what you learn? I mean, you've been running it probably 15 minutes. <laughs> it likes drier ground better than wet, clumpier. Yeah, really wet ground, but it seems like if it's really dry, mm -hmm. it's too hard. Right? right. But it scatters rocks on the top of it to when it starts dumping them whenever it won't cut. It yeah. Seems like. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of techniques did you learn? Leave it down. <laughs> Instead of trying to leave a pile where you want it. <laughs> oh, okay. You gotta scatter it out over a long distance if you don't want to leave a pile. But it's not too hard to scatter over a long no, distance. No, no. But it takes a long distance to dump it out if you don't want to leave a pile. Yeah. I, could, I found you could raise it up an inch or so. And oh, yeah. Spread it right out. I think it does a nice job. You think this is easier than uh, doing it with the backhoe bucket, the loader bucket? Better than the backhoe. Now, when you say backhoe, you mean the, the, the loader, loader yeah. on the 580, yeah. yeah. Hard to beat Ollie, though. Back dragging with Ollie. Well, you need to show us that. Oh, it ain't on. Yeah. That might be part of another video. It might <laughs> put the blade on and try it out again. <laughs> Did you notice any difference whether he was going faster or slower? Didn't seem like it made a lot of difference. As long as you were moving fast enough to keep it rolling, it was to keep the rock rolling over the top, it did all right. And when you first let it down to load it, it seems like it leaves a bare place. But once it's loaded, it does an even job spreading. You think he'll be able to figure out how to use it? I think so. He can figure out anything if you give him a little bit of time. Yeah. But this is a, an exceptionally easy tool to use. Yeah. Long throughs are better than short turning around. But I don't see any issue with just leaving it down while you turn. No. <laughs> Works all right. I decided to see if adding weight would allow it to dig more. Tom or Randall, whoever was driving, said it was immediately noticeable on the tractor that it pulled a lot harder with me standing on it. It makes me wonder if a weight bracket that could hold a few of those 42 or 70 pound weights might be a good addition to this attachment. You're probably asking what I'm doing now. I'm actually adjusting the top link of the three-point hitch. Just watching how it actually behaves differently if it's tipped a little further backwards. I adjusted it down a little bit in the back while I was riding. That, that, I think it was picking up so much in the front that adjusting it down made it pick up a little bit more in the back and not as much in the front. I don't know if that makes sense. Do you think it helped? I don't know about helping, but it seemed to me like it was getting kind of plugged up in the front half. Okay. And not rolling over as well. I wonder if this makes it not cut as deep to put it down in the back more. 
One of the basic design points of this land plane and all of them are the side walls on each side. I think that's one of the key aspects, really. Those walls keep the rocks in the box and don't leave ridges along each side. I know when you use a regular rear blade, it just puts ridges along each side. It's hard to get rid of them. We left this land plane hooked on to Dad's 3320, and while we were working on some barn demolition work, we came back home and saw that Dad had worked his own driveway in front of his house. I wasn't sure they were going to let me bring this attachment home. You're taking the pressure off of him, Randall. <laughs> People always make fun of me using my boots instead of a uh, shovel or a rake. Well, it's sometimes it's more what you got easy to use. Yeah. Without having to go get something else. I couldn't do that pretty a job with a shovel. <laughs> it's always easy to armchair quarterback. But Tom's doing a tremendous job of spreading that rock as he goes backwards here. Does just a perfect job. Beautiful. And then he decides to just drop it and drive off. Removing all the rock that he had meticulously placed there. <laughs> That's what I mean by the first load. But he had been really load. careful. At that particular time, he just dropped it. I think that's really what he did here and it held him out of the ground. Oh, okay. It's getting dark here, folks, but I can't get Randall off the tractor. He's still going back and forth with the land plane, having so much fun. I can't even get him to join us here to close, so you'll just have to deal with me. Hope you enjoyed this. Land plane's a great tool. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. So this is a matched pair of antlers, and you can see that we're right here by the, the, the drain bin. I don't know whether you can see the deer that's down there along the woods now, but that's where we see them quite often. Oh, there they are. I count seven or eight from here. Oh my goodness, yeah, there's a lot more of them than what I'm showing with the camera.